What's up everybody, EJ here, back with another video. So today I'm gonna be going over some pinpoint tips for those who are new to pinpoint and wanna learn to get better or even people that are more experienced at pinpoint but still have areas where they wanna improve. So just for some background on me, I am a top MLB The Show player. I've won several tournaments. I've qualified for three circuit finals for MLB The Show. I've made 1100 several times, top 50 several times. So I am a top 50 around player. I finished right around 100th lifetime last year. So I know how to pitch. I know how to pitch against the best players in the world. So even if you're not facing the best players, I can still help you guys out to be able to get some outs against everyone. Using the pinpoint mode, which is in my opinion, the best pitching mode in the game. And I don't even think it's close. I think if you want to have the best pitching possible, you gotta choose pinpoint as your pitching method, I think. Pure analog and meter are going to give you more RNG to where you want your pitches to go, whereas pinpoint is going to give you the most accurate location when you aim your pitches. So yeah, definitely going to want to turn pinpoint on. We're going to be practicing on legend here. Um, I like to have this picture on the strike zone. We'll go over more specific pitching tips and maybe more general pitching tips video, but we're just going to really focus in on pinpoint right here. Uh, so my general tips right now with pinpoint, my first one. So we'll go over fastballs first. Fastball is the easiest, but I do notice some people do struggle sometimes with throwing fastballs for good input. So my thing with fastballs is really just try to keep it simple and light. You don't want to yank it down and up. You want to keep it nice and loose and just not try to make it such a jerky motion because if you do... They can start getting the yellow, start getting to the yellow, yellow accuracy and start having problems with throwing it where you want to. Right there, nice and easy, 94%, perfect release. We get it in there. So again, just with fastballs specifically, and with honestly most pitches with pinpoint, point, you're just going to have nice, easy releases with the pitches so that you're able to just maximize the amount of perfects that you're able to get right here. So we're going to get a perfect on this one right in there. And again, just such nice and easy fluid motions. Get 100% accuracy, so time it up, get another perfect right there. Fastball is gonna be the easiest because it's only an up and down motion. Now we're gonna go with a slider. So slider is gonna have a more complicated one. This is where I'm gonna really start getting to the most of the pitching tips. So as you can see right there, first one went a little bit too slow. You're gonna really wanna pay attention to those uh, hoops that you'll see. So you'll see a hoop on the bottom there and it'll demonstrate here just how fast you're supposed to go to the top and how fast you're supposed to wait to the bottom. So you're gonna to wanna to wait for those hoops to just collapse sort of amongst itself. It will get smaller and smaller, and you're gonna really wanna watch the timing of it and the pre-pitch. So you can even just sit here, pay attention to the timing of the pre-pitch and just uh, practice just generally getting the timing down for it. Time it up, get it so that it's when the hoops collapse for both going up and then going down. Right here, nice and easy. Time it up to their 100% accuracy, wait for the hoop to collapse. And we get a perfect timing right there. Practice one more time. You're really going to want to keep your finger loose on sort of the outside of it. So my thing when I was struggling with pinpoint at the beginning was I was going way too fast. I was like just jamming it on the side of the controller. I was just like, and I was just yanking it. So really just focusing on being as loose as possible with pinpoint. Nice and easy. All the way to the hoop. Release. I would recommend if you're struggling, especially if you're struggling just with like having it so jerky like that, try to slow it down. Like even it's okay to even be a little bit slow. As you can see, I was a little bit slow in the timing there, but I still got an 89% accuracy, which if I weren't three degrees right, I would have gotten a perfect on it. Like you can afford to be a little bit on the slow end and you can still get perfects on it, as you can see right there. Because if you're going too fast, it's just, it becomes messy, the accuracy becomes bad, and you start hanging pictures or throwing pictures where you don't want to. And so the curveball is sort of similar to the slider with this pitch you're really demonstrating kind of a weird angle on that first sort of going down so you're going like here sort of uh it's the opposite on this camera so going here um and it's it's just kind of an awkward motion so you're really going to want to just it, it's hard to get that exactly perfect but just trying to be as loose as possible again with it because if you're just going to be jerky then it kind of gets again a little crazy there i actually i've gotten so used to that i honestly got it pretty good there but like a lot of people i know will like go you know something like this and it's just it, it's hard to get it exactly sort of on that weird angle but just trying to be slow with it again man just nice and slow nice and easy wait for the hoop release yeah right here nice and slow nice and easy it doesn't have to be exactly on that line but as long as it's close enough as long as you're doing it in a slow fashion because i could be you know a little off say here i'm still getting 73 percent it's gonna go mostly where i want it to you have a little bit of margin of error there uh, compared to if you're going say you know way off here so try to get it close to the line try to get it on sort of the right side of that line so you're doing it closer uh to the point where you're hooping it up like this so try to get it as close as you can to that sort of 
uh, semicircle right there. 100% accuracy. Wait for the hoop release. Circle changes are not easy because you have to go all the way around. It's a long way around here. You have to go all the way. It's difficult to time up uh, when you're doing the release. But again, my recommendation, really trying to be as slow as possible when you're in the normal uh, delivery. Well, the stretch delivery is a little bit different. We're going to get to that in a second. But just really trying to pay attention to those hoops, trying to be nice and easy and slow with it until it gets to a comfortable rhythm and timing. Nice and slow, nice and controlled, nice and loose. A little bit early on the release there, but that's okay. We're getting 94% accuracy with this. Nice and slow. Wait for the hoop. Get it perfect. All right, so we're going to go with the Yankees for a little bit, and that's because we have a roll this Chapman, and Chapman has a splitter, and the splitter is the hardest pitch to get right on pinpoint. It is a very interesting release in the sense that you have to actually overlap and throw the ball. So what we're really going to do here is you don't have to actually go all the way to the end to get perfects on this. So as you can see, we'll show right here, you don't have to go all the way to the end, and it's still possible to get a 97% accuracy. Don't think you have to go all the way to the end of this pinpoint. You can get it right there. It's a good enough accuracy. Don't have to get 100% all the time. You can still get perfects. So go right here. Don't go to the end. And you can still get, look at that, 91% accuracy. Right here. Wait for the hoop. Perfect. So just, again, really be relaxed. Again, Chapman comes from a stretch delivery, so it's going to be a little faster. But it, you don't have to, like, go, like, crazy, like, something like this, right? Because then it becomes just more and more challenging. I was actually able to get it there. But for the most part, when I do get it all the way to the end, it can tend to get a little bit messy. So again, right here, don't go all the way to the end, wait for the hoop, get it perfect. Right here, don't go all the way to the end, get a hoop, perfect. Look at that, it was only 76% accuracy. Like, I mean, we're not we're not talking about massive accuracy numbers here, but in 22, it doesn't actually matter all that much. As long as you're above a certain threshold of accuracy, usually around 70%. I have seen some below 70, actually. Um, which is pretty low but like right here i actually got 100 percent zero and zero without even going all the way to the end the game will give it to you it's right there what a pitch right there 97 0, 0. we're getting almost perfect releases with this don't feel the need to go all the way to the end you, you just go right here nice and relaxed wait for the hoop perfect and we're getting perfect on every one of these just general advice now for structural deliveries because chapman does have one you're obviously gonna have to go a little bit faster but still try to stay relaxed you know obviously you're not going as slow uh with the release but just try Remain relaxed with your release. Don't go start jamming up and down because once you start doing that, like for example, the fastball here, you're going to start getting yourself in trouble trying to go fast. So just again, nice and loose with the finger. Nice and loose up. Wait for the hoop release. You don't have to like tense your finger. Just nice and light up, down, release. And that's all I really have. Honestly, uh, pitching isn't overly complicated in pinpoint. I know it seems challenging at first. I know it seems daunting, but it really, really isn't that bad. Give it a few times. I would recommend practicing pinpoint 20 minutes a day for maybe a week, two weeks, you know, get it like 90% good. Pinpoint isn't that difficult, guys. It's just staying relaxed, staying slow, staying calm, and just really focusing on getting those hoops so you can throw pitches as accurately as possible. Yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, follow my socials, especially my Twitch. I stream every single day on Twitch in the description below. I also post every single day on YouTube. I post every day on Instagram and TikTok as well. Very active on Twitter, so make sure to check all those out if you enjoyed the video. And yeah, guys, have a wonderful rest of your day.